Hi guys, in this video you will learn everything you need to get the most out of DomCorp's power plan. If you have not already watched a video on how to use the newbie plan, wait, pause this one right now, click on the link below to the newbie plan video, watch that one and then come back to this video. This is only because we will only talk about the features that exist in the power plan and that are not in the newbie plan. When new domains are added to DomCorp, they find their way to the expiring section. These are generally domains that are in the pending delete or are in auctions that are kind of going to expire soon. Once the domain or the auction expires, these domains are moved from the expiring section to the expired section. As a power plan customer, you get access to this expired section. As soon as domains are moved to the expired section, our domain availability checking scripts start checking whether the domains have dropped and have not been purchased by back orders. If a domain is found to be available, it is flagged as available in this section. Note though, that by default, we show all the expired domains in this section. For example, ones that are available to purchase as well as the ones that are no longer available to be purchased. You therefore need to enable a setting to only let you see available domains. The simplest way to do this is to click the show me only the available expired domain button at the top of the page. Clicking this button will refresh the domain table and only show you domains that our system know is available to be purchased. The other way you can do this is by going through the advanced search screen, scrolling way down to miscellaneous, the widget that's there, and enabling the domain available checkbox. Feel free to add any other search settings when you do this. The user interface shown across all sections, expiring, expired, archive, watch list, crawler, and my domains are exactly the same. You can refer back to the newbie plan video for additional information on how to use these features. The only different thing that differs across the sections is the actual set of domains that are shown. So once the domain expires, it's moved from the expiring section to the expired section, 30 days after this, if the domain is still available to be purchased, it is moved from the expired section to the archive section. The archive section therefore only contains domains that are available to be purchased and have expired sometime in the last two years. Domains are constantly added and removed from the section. You can freely move between the different sections at DomCorp and all your existing search settings will be retained. For example, if you're searching for domains that have a majestic trust flow of more than 20 in the expiring section, and then clicked on the archive section, the screen will show you all the domains in the archive section that have a majestic trust flow of more than 20. All right, guys, that's about it for the power plan. Thank you so much for watching. Once more, feel free to drop us a line at support at domcop.com if you have any questions. So for now, happy domain hunting. Bye.